morning you guys welcome back to a, another vlogmas video i just recently made my coffee i already had a morning routine this morning i did a pilates workout i tidied up the house this morning made some breakfast all that so did my skincare um and yeah i haven't really like got myself ready for the day i literally just like threw on a pair of sweatpants and a sweater and yeah, that's where we're at for the morning today, but I wanted to whip up the camera because I am feeling motivated to film today. And I have a very exciting weekend. I'm actually heading to Toronto tomorrow. I'm taking the train down. It's about like a three and a half hour train ride, which is really not that bad. And I'm going to visit my friend Lan and then Trin's actually meeting us there as well. Trin's from Vancouver and Edmonton, like her family lives in Edmonton and then she um lives in vancouver but yeah i'm just like so excited to see them i haven't seen them since new york fashion week and if you guys don't know who they are um they are two girls that i met in the beginning of the year and i've just been like traveling along with them this past year and we became very very close and it's nice to have like friends in the influencing world um we just like get along so well and i just consider them my besties so it's just like nice to have traveling friends and being able to do the same career and like being able to work together and all that it's just like so fun and yeah so those are my little internet besties but i'm very excited we're doing a bunch of like christmas stuff this weekend i'm really excited because i've never been to the christmas market in toronto and i always see pictures and all that and i'm like i really want to go so i'm gonna be going which i'm very excited and yeah it's just gonna be a fun weekend so i'm gonna take you guys along with me so for today um i have a very busy day i'm gonna get some work done this morning but later in the day i need to pack because i literally haven't packed at all i am always a last minute packer and i also always get anxiety before traveling i don't know what it is i always get like anxious about like leaving the house like leaving zach and leaving the dog and like making sure the dog's getting taken care of all weekend like obviously zach's gonna be here but like on the monday i come home monday and i just want to make sure like freddie's taken care of and my parents are watching him and anyways just like a lot to make sure i want to make sure the house is clean before i leave um even though i'm sure zach will mess it up <laughs> Cause that's what like that's what life is like with living with a boy but anyways but i do have to do a bit of running around this afternoon but i thought this morning we could get um just organized for the trip i do need to pack i want to show you guys a few things that i just recently got i got a lot of new skincare products that i've been loving i've been testing it out these past few days um i got some new clothing items from black friday that came in and i also have a house update as well that i will show you guys so a busy day and i'm really excited to take you guys along with me um um, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. So anyways, I'm gonna get some work done. I'm also gonna take Freddie out for a walk because I haven't done that yet. And we'll get this day started. Okay, I just put a bit of makeup on because eventually I will be leaving the house. I don't know when, but I just felt like putting makeup on right now just to, um, yeah, get me in a better mood, I guess. Um, I always find like doing my makeup but just like motivates me to do things so anyways i have to start organizing the clothes that i'm gonna pack i need to figure out like what's clean what's dirty what do i need to throw in the wash all that i also want to clean my makeup brushes because i haven't done that in a hot minute like i feel like it's been a few weeks which is so bad and i just need to do that so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna show you guys some, some new things that i got recently um and just like things that i'm gonna pack for the trip all that
Okay, I'm just taking a packing break right now, but I just made this salad and I'm very excited because I used to make these salads all the time. I think it was two summers ago and I kind of completely forgot about it. But basically I just put chicken, uh, sliced almonds, strawberries, dried cranberries, um, obviously lettuce, and then balsamic vinaigrette on top. And it's just like, oh, and also goat cheese. It's just like the perfect summer salad it's not summer obviously but i was just craving a salad and then i'm also snacking on these chips with this hummus so i'm just gonna eat that and then i will show you guys the progress that i'm making on packing okay i just finished eating lunch and now i'm just gonna get back to packing up my suitcase but i did want to grab a few things down here before i go upstairs i always like to bring snacks with me any supplements anything like that that i like to include into my routine especially when i'm traveling and one product that i've recently added to my routine is peak i just want to say a huge thank you to peak for sponsoring today's video what i love about peak is that they have so many different options on their website of different products and one product that i've been recently trying out is their immune support daily radiance elderberry shots it's little packets that you can just take on the go you don't need to mix any liquid with it or anything like that and that's what i love about it it's just the convenience and how easy it is just to take it wherever you go you can even just put them in your purse if you're you know someone that forgets to take um shots or whatever supplements anything like that it's just like easy convenient and on the go so this is what it looks like i like i said just recently started trying this out i've been using their um collagen packets that you mix with liquid in the summer i use them a few times and it's so yummy i really really like them but this is just more convenient because it's just a one-time shot you don't need to add any liquid as i said and you just have it on the go so i'm definitely going to bring these since i am traveling and it's just nice to be able to support my immune system it's just great for skin health, um, aging health, and then obviously your immune system. So I'm going to be taking these and guys, they're actually really, really good. I was really shocked. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as what it was because typically when I find these um, packets, like when they're like a shot, single shot that you just take without any liquid or anything, typically I find they don't taste that good. But this one is really, really good. I was really surprised. I was like, oh my God, this is like candy, like literally liquid candy. And yeah, I think the elderberry is just something that tastes so yummy. Obviously, you get your vitamin C in and all that. So yeah, I can't say enough good things about Peak. So definitely check them out if you haven't checked them out before. I'll make sure to link everything down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking them out. But but this is definitely something that I'm going to include into my morning routine daily because like I said, it's just such an easy on the go like packet and yeah, it's great to obviously support your immune system. And obviously in the winter, it's so important to take care of your immune system because obviously when it's colder, you have a higher chance of getting sick and all that. And I hate getting sick. I don't think anybody enjoys getting sick. So if there's ways to include products into my routine that help my immune system, I'm definitely going to include it. So thank you Peak for sponsoring today's video and I'll make sure to link everything down below. Okay, I was gonna put my things into carry-ons but that just wasn't happening. This is like a smaller carry-on suitcase and then I just ended up bringing my weekender bag from base. I got this actually a month ago and I've only used it for one trip and it's been pretty good so far. I like how you can put your shoes at the bottom and then I put like very minimal clothing in here and then I'll put my um, like makeup a bag skincare bag all that and then it should be able to close and then I have what I'm gonna wear on the train tomorrow with my bag and yeah I feel like majority of the things that I brought were coats I don't know why I'm a coat girl I couldn't decide on what coat and I brought three coats so that's that but I think now we're gonna organize my skincare and clean my makeup brushes I quickly wanted to show you guys some new skincare that I got that I've been obsessed with. Um, Sunday Riley sent me a bunch of stuff and I have been trying out all their products these past few days and my skin has already looked so much better. I know that sounds crazy and it's only been like a few days, but like 
I have very dry skin and I just feel like a lot of these products have been helping a lot. So this facial oil is insane. Like you literally don't need that much in order for your face to be like super hydrated. And then I've been using this for my under eyes, which I've been telling you guys about that they have been really, really bad lately. So um, I haven't seen like a dramatic difference yet, obviously, but I feel like this has been helping a little bit because it is brightening the area. And then I love this lactic acid treatment. I've been using this, sorry didn't include in the camera i've been using this before i put my moisturizer on this is something that i've been recently adding to my routine as well but i've had it for the past few weeks it's the charlotte tilbury's magic serum i really really like it um it's something that i've been including like every day into my skincare routine um and then this recent thing i tried today so i can't say much but it's uh, another under eye cream so yeah, those are some products that I've been testing out that I've been really liking. But Sunday Riley, guys, is totally worth the hype, I think. Like, I'll give you guys a better update once I've used it for a longer period of time. But so far, I've been really loving it. But anyways, I'm going to start organizing all this into a bag. Well, not all of it, but majority of it. And going to do my makeup as well. Okay, I cleaned my makeup brushes, I packed my skincare and other random self-care stuff, but um, I'm gonna keep this here just because in the morning, I obviously have to do my skincare, brush my teeth, all that tonight, so there's no point in packing any of this until tomorrow morning, but I'm happy I did that. Also, I wanted to give you guys a house update because we got something in a few days ago and we just opened up the box to see if it fits our space and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. We, I've had it on my Pinterest board for a few years now, just something similar to this and it was a hard time like finding something similar like this and I found it and I love it and it's from um, Mobilia and I got it on Black Friday and I'm just obsessed with it. So this is our beautiful accent chair. I think it goes super nice with the room. My living room's kind of a disaster. Um, but yeah, no, I think it was perfect. I was gonna get two originally and I'm so happy I didn't because there definitely would not be space for two of them. Like when this tree isn't here, I have my olive tree here. So it already takes up so much space and I just think it looks better with the one. And it's just like a small one. I didn't want anything big. I just love the book, is it called boucle? Um, like Sherpa material and yeah, I just think it's cute. I think it just adds like to the living room really nicely So I think the only thing that we have to add in this room is a rug. I think I found one that I liked I'm just waiting to see if it goes on sale on boxing uh, boxing day, but rugs are not cheap and Honestly, like I just don't understand why they're so expensive. Like I feel like it's literally just a thing of fabric, but anyways, that's just me, but I will find a rug and I will buy it on Boxing Day hopefully and then everything's pieced together here and then I think this room was finally complete like it feels weird with the Christmas decorations up right now but like once the Christmas decorations are down like I feel like it will flow really nicely but yeah I think I might get like a little side table here so people can put like your coffee there and all that I've been sitting here a lot lately like just editing my TikToks and all that so it's getting good use already and Freddie likes it as well so yeah, that's a little house update, but the living room is coming together and it's almost all done. Hey guys, it's a bit later. I just finished dinner with Zach and cleaned up and all that. And I literally have the most upsetting news right now. Like, okay, it's not that upsetting, but it's, it's upsetting. It's heartbreaking, but I am obsessed with Skims pajamas. Like it's like my favorite brand to get pajamas from. And I have like three of their boyfriend sets in like the Heather Gray, black and white. 
and I was a dumbo when washing the laundry. I have just been so busy with work. I just like wasn't paying attention. And anyways, I threw in a bunch of clothes, as I mentioned, to get cleaned for this trip. I threw in my light gray skim set with the darks. <laughs> it's ruined. I had a moment, I'm not gonna lie, I had a moment. I was just like, I didn't cry. <laughs> But like I had a moment where I was just like this is So upsetting like I'm still thinking about it, and I'm just so upset Because they're not cheap and like the quality is so good and all that and I'm just like I literally have to rebuy it because it literally looks like It's not even like black. It's just like this weird brown color like brownish pink and I don't know what bled to like cause it like that but I'm just so upset like so upset but it's fine um what a month it's been <laughs> we're gonna go run some errands now i was not expecting to go this late in the day i just got caught up with work and zach came home we ended up making dinner together cleaning up whatever the time just like flew by i just feel like that always happens so anyways we're really gonna go to shoppers it's like literally right around the corner it's not that far from here um, and I'm gonna pick up some self tanner because since my spray tan, it's been like Almost two weeks now and it's basically all off. I just have to dry brush certain areas that are still like Still kind of there like armpits and all that. It's like kind of hard to get off there But um, I'm just gonna dry brush when I get home and I'm gonna try out the self tanner that I saw on TikTok. Um I don't know if it'll be good. It's <laughs> kind of taking a risk of um using it for the first time before toronto but honestly like i feel like it's gonna look better than what i am now just because i feel so pale and i just feel like if i get a bit of a tan i'll feel good and i just didn't have time to book another spray tan before this trip so um i'm hoping to get a spray tan before christmas if i can't then in the new year but um because like i said i want to keep up with it but um the girl that i go to she's moving into her new house like tomorrow or something like that so she literally like could not take me in because she's moving which fair totally respect that um but anyways we're gonna go pick up self tanner and hope that it turns out good and i'll show you guys the results in the morning and hope that <laughs> it turns out good that way if you guys are interested because i'm getting like, a drugstore one i'm not getting like a very expensive one so hopefully um it turns out good Okay, showing you guys a quick little haul of everything that I got at the drugstore quickly. Freddie wants to eat things that I just bought. Hey, no. So I got <laughs> baby oil because this is what I use to um, take my makeup off. I find it's just like very clean ingredients and very easy to like take off my makeup. And because I have dry skin, it's like very oily. So um, Freddie, please stop. Um, it just like helps taking off my mascara all that very easy and I just use like the cotton pods cotton pods cotton pads sorry to Take off my face makeup and eye makeup and then I got black sheer tights because I was thinking I could put an outfit together with tights I've been seeing a lot of um, celebrities wear like fur coats with sheer tights like a skirt and top and all that so I think I'm gonna do that potentially with my fur coat so I bought those because I don't have a pair Freddie please stop um I got a new mitt because I needed a new mitt for self <laughs> oh my god Freddie stop and then I was like you know what maybe I get a little snack I, I already talked about packing snacks for this train ride but I wanted to get like a little breakfast bar or something like that and there was these cute little um may good morning oat bars and they looked good so i decided to get that and i thought like even if like before a workout in toronto if i want a little snack i can have these and then this is the self tanner that i got it's called the jerkins instant tan in the deep bronze that's what it looks like so we are going to be applying that now and i will give you guys an update on how that turns out but that's everything that i got and freddie wants to eat everything that i got ready what? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I just got ready to head to the train station. It's an early morning. My dad was so kind enough to pick me up and drop me up at the train station. So I'm very grateful for that just because there's a big snowstorm and Zach is um, home, but he's watching Freddie and 
there's people coming over to fix some stuff in our house so I had no drive I was gonna drive myself but my dad was kind enough to offer so I was very happy with that but I wanted to give you guys a tan update it didn't really work that much like it's like a very subtle tan but it's not as dark as what I wanted it to be so I think I have to get the I think it's the ultra deep dark there's like one shade higher that I think would have been better but it's okay at least it's like enough I think I did bring more um, self tanner just in case I have like another brand that I could put on but yeah but this is my outfit for the trainer I just wearing an Aritzia sweater my local European parachute pants my Aritzia um, oh, Frank I forget what this jacket's called but I will try and link everything down below but I'm off I'm gonna end this video off here just because I'm gonna start a new one once I get to the train station but I love you guys so much have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video